Hello everyone, welcome to Mastermind. Today let us look at the part 4 of the series on MCQs on Karnataka Economic Survey. Hope you people have watched the earlier 3 parts and noted all the important points that were given in those 3 parts. Now let us get started with the 4th part. First question, what new name have the Gramma Panchayat libraries been given since 2019? Jnana Shakhe, Arivo Kendra, Vidya Mantapa, Bauddhika Chavadi. The right option is option 2, Arivo Kendras. Since 2019, the RDPR department, that is Rural Development and Panchayat Raj department, has taken over the Grama Panchayat libraries, renaming them Arivu Kendras. Out of the total 5,895 libraries, 5,383 have been transformed into digital libraries, enrolling about 43.42 lakh children. You have to remember that Arivu Kendras under Rural Development and Panchayat Raj. This can be a standard question. Second question says, what is the objective of the Grama Arogya campaign? To provide telehealth services at primary health centers, to prevent non-communicable diseases among Narega laborers, to distribute portable medical devices to Narega laborers, to provide Arogya Karnataka cards for Grama Sabha members. So here the right option is option two, to prevent non-communicable diseases among Narega laborers. So, the Grama Arogya campaign has been launched with the aim of preventing non-communicable diseases among Narega laborers at an early stage. Very, very important. Put five stars to this question, Grama Arogya campaign. So, under this campaign, health kits have been distributed to laborers across all 31 districts. And this year, health screenings, including tests for blood pressure and diabetes have been conducted. So non-communicable diseases means lifestyle diseases like obesity, blood pressure, diabetes, etc. So this year health kits have been distributed to laborers across all the 31 districts of Karnataka and health screenings including tests for blood pressure and diabetes have also been conducted. The Grama Arogya campaign is for preventing non-communicable diseases among Narega laborers at an early stage. Very, very important. Third question says, what is the primary purpose of the Hasiru application developed by Horticultural Department of Karnataka? So in the question itself, you are getting one mark. Suppose if this is asked, Hasiru application developed by Horticultural Department of Karnataka. They can ask, Hasiru application recently seen in news was developed by which department of Karnataka? The answer would be Horticultural Department. Now, what is the primary purpose of this application? to provide weather updates, to handle beneficiary oriented schemes, to offer market prices for crops, to facilitate online training for farmers. So the right option is option two, to handle beneficiary oriented schemes related to horticultural department of Karnataka. And the name of the application is Hasiru application. The horticulture department has developed an IT application called Hasiru to improve the efficiency in implementing beneficiary oriented schemes. Fourth question says, what is the total livestock population of Karnataka as per the 2019 census? 2.03 crore, 3.03 crore, 4.03 crore, 5.03 crore. The right option is option 2, 3.03 crore. So there are approximately 3 crore livestock in Karnataka as per 2019 census. Fifth question says, as per the 2019 census, what percentage does Karnataka's poultry population contribute to the national total? 5.41%, 6.98%, 7.41%, 8.98%. The right option is option 2, 6.98%. So, out of the national total, 6.98% of the poultry population is found in Karnataka. Very important, please note it down. Seventh question, according to 2019 livestock census, what is the combined population of livestock and poultry in Karnataka? This is a bit tricky question. So here the right option is option 1, 8.98 crore. So let us look at the explanation for all the previous four questions now. According to the 2019 livestock census, Karnataka has a livestock population of 3.03 crore and poultry population of 5.95 crore. If you combine both, it becomes 8.98 crore. So 8.98 crore. However, livestock population contributes 5.41 percent this is the livestock population it contributes 5.41 percent to the national total while the poultry population contributes 6.98 percent to the country's total to the country's total country's total poultry population this is important please remember 
Eighth question says, where is the state's first goat milk project being launched? Shirahati, Madalapur, Rona, Dabaspet. So the right option is option two, Madalapur. So a goat milk project is being launched for the first time in the state of Karnataka at Madalapur. That is Kudige sub-center in Kodagu district. So it is goat milk project. Please remember, very important. Ninth question, it's a very interesting question. Match the following GI tag products with their respective districts filed by VTPC. Kagaris, Hase Chitara, Shivarana Patana sculptures and stone crafted products. So we have to match this. Kagga rice belongs to Uttara Kannada. So it is B, 1B. Hase Chitara belongs to Shivamogga and Uttara Kannada. 2C. So the option is option 2 here. 1B, 2C. Only we have an option 2. Shivara Patana sculptures and stone crafted products belong to Kolar. So 3A. 1B, 2C, 3A is option 2 here. So as of now, Karnataka has 48 registered geographical indications. Additionally, the authorized user drive conducted by VTPC has increased the number of authorized users across GA products in Karnataka to 2,372. Of these, VTP has filed for three new GI products on behalf of the state. We have, you have to remember this. Kagga rice. This is from Uttara Kannada district in the agricultural segment. Hase Chitara from Shivamogga and Uttara Kannada districts. And then Shivara Patana sculptures and stone crafted products from Malur Kolar. You have to remember these three. Very, very important. It can be asked in all the examinations ranging from PC to KS, that is AC. So you have to remember this. And Shivara Patana sculptures and stone crafted products are listed under the handicrafts classification. These products are currently under pre-examination process. They are currently in the pre-examination process. And specific GI products have also been identified and mapped for promotion under initiatives like Atmanirbar Bharat, One District, One Product, and District as Export Herbs as well. So, but you have to just remember these things. Kagga rice belongs to Uttara Kannada district and then Hase Chitara belongs to Shivamogga and Uttara Kannada districts. Shivara Patana sculptures and stone crafted products belongs to Malur from Kolar. Tenth question says what percentage of Karnataka's exports constituted the country's total exports in 2022 23 18.75%, 20.50%, 22.10%, 25.80%. The right option is option to 20.50%. This is a standard question. And you have to remember, you have got no other way. Karnataka leads India in software or service exports and ranks fourth in merchandise exports. So in service, it ranks first. In merchandise, in merchandise, it ranks fourth. So it holds the top position in overall exports when combined. VTPC, that is Vishweshwaraya Trade Promotion Center under the Department of Industries and Commerce, Karnataka government serves as the pivotal agency for export promotion. This is very important. VTPC is under Department of Industries and Commerce and it serves as the nodal agency for export promotion. Export data analysis is conducted using information from the Directorate General of Commercial Intelligence and Statistics in Kolkata. So the export data analysis is conducted by DGCIS in Kolkata. In the fiscal year 2022-23, Karnataka's total exports grew by 35.31% compared to 2021-22, amounting to approximately 12,67,655.66 crores and it contributed 20.5% to the country's total exports. You have to remember this. Merchandise exports accounted for 6.19% of national exports while software or service exports constituted 41%. Again, you have to remember these two. Merchandise, 6.19% of total exports from India. And software or service exports constituted 41% of the total exports from India. Electronics, computer software and other service sectors dominate Karnataka's export profile. This is another important point. Electronics, computer software and other service sectors dominate Karnataka's export profile. Significant increases in export shares from 2021-22 were observed in textile and garment, pharmaceuticals, agriculture, food processing, petroleum products. So all these sectors saw increase in exports while engineering, 
organic chemicals, spices, handicraft and cashew sectors experience decline. That is, the exports decreased for these particular sectors. So, this is very, very important concept. You have to remember this because this information will be handy in essay as well as descriptive answer for main questions as well. So, please note down all these points and refer to the video multiple times. So, if you have watched the, the video today, again watch the video after two weeks. Only then you will be able to retain all these important crucial points. Thank you.